our board meeting to order. Uh, we are having a call board meeting tonight at the Coffee County Board of Education for July 18th. And with that, I'd like to ask Dr. Banks to please say our invocation, please. Yes, ma'am. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to come together this afternoon. We pray that everything goes according to your plan. And I ask Father God to continue to guide, protect, and let us be about our Father's business as we do you know, necessary things in, in this meeting to impact the lives of our students. And I pray, Father God, that all of our, our stakeholders are doing well, especially our primary stakeholders, our students. I pray, Father God, you continue to lead them in the path that they will need to go in to stay effective in their lives. And I pray, Father God, that you keep them from hurt, harm, or danger. And I pray for us all to do great things in this upcoming school season. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Banks. <coughs> we do want to mention that Mr. Preston is not with us tonight. He is out of town traveling for work, so we wish him safe travels. With that, fellow board members, you've had an opportunity to review the agenda. I have a motion to adopt the agenda. A motion, thank you. Mr. Lott, second. Second. Any questions, comments? All right. All in favor? Very good. Thank you very much. All right, Dr. Lee. All right. Thank you, board members, for being here. A uh, special call meeting, but we do have a couple items of business that we need to take care of. And uh, the first item that we have on the agenda is uh, dealing with the uh, parking lot at Coffee High School. Is that on there? Mm -hmm. uh, parking lot improvements at Coffee High School. We put this out for bid and we had one uh, contractor submit a uh, proposal for completing this work at the high school. The high school parking lots are in pretty bad shape. A lot of grass growing up through cracks and such as that. And so it's time to, to uh, resurface those uh, and restripe the parking lots. So we're asking the board to approve the bid uh, from M&M &M, uh, striping to uh, spray the parking lots with a seal and then uh, stripe them and also fill the cracks. And you'll see that there was the base price and it was at alternate number one, at alternate number two. When we went into this, uh, we had budgeted a little more than, than what the total comes out to be, so we're asking the board to approve both uh, at alternate one and at alternate two to complete the work at the high school. I've got Mr. Spikes here, Michael Spikes, our facilities director, to answer any questions. Did I get that right, Mr. Spikes? All right. Uh, they all in bad shape? Or? Those three areas are now the the bus circle where they drop off is not that, which I didn't even ask to do an alternate on it. Um, but the, the student parking, we have to spray it like twice a year for grass growing up in the car. It's, it's probably almost to the point that it ran up pretty cheap for <laughs> <laughs> well, them. It's all, it's all a liability of using it. It's cheap <laughs> Um, but the other two, I just put them in there to kind of get a feel of what they, they are and they do need to be zip going as well. So from a timing perspective, they do have time to get this done before? They're going to start. I mean, if we, if we do it with it, they're going to they're start on the student parking to the track field. And what they don't finish before school starts, before students come back, they will do on the weekends. And um, most likely that um, that at alternate one will be done at a later date anyway because of uh, some repairs that uh, has to be done to the drainage system where the trucks have run over a storm drain, moving concrete into the performing arts center. So it, it'll be done at a later date anyway. But the student parking is what we was hoping to get done with before school starts. So they're, 
They should have most of it done, but they will be some on weekends to finish it. So pardon my ignorance, but there's not an issue with them doing it on the weekends and then everybody driving on Mondays and there's not time it, frames it to worry about. And it, it's ready for traffic in 20 to 24 hours. It's a polymer type so Get into too much for that parkour. That stupid parkour lot needs to be ripped up right now. All that. those concrete minions, that grass mass needs to be gone. Right. But obviously, we can't do that right now. That might be next plot. Right. But this would be something. This would be something that might would take us into that time frame. Right. I feel sure that in you know, five years it would be hold up. Him and them don't want around. <laughs> but they are the only ones that put in a bit. Now he's done a lot of small projects for us in the past and I've been satisfied. Yeah, he's been doing it a long time. He's, he's done a good job on everything we have. But it is a major undertaking because they are a lot of, you know, student parking is in the back yeah. It is. Other questions, Ms. Wilkerson? Do you have any questions? Say it's done with the budget and the amount? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you for that information, Mr. Spike. So, with that. So what are you looking for? A motion? I need a motion. to approve doing the uh, $83,930 uh, worth of parking lot improvements at Coffee High School. So both of them are not being approved? Um, yes, it would be the total. Two. The total okay. with the two add alternates totals, and that is kind of confusing the way that looks. Yeah, okay. It totals out to $83,930. Okay. It'll be the base, the add alternate one, and add alternate two for a total of eighty three nine. dollars What would you ask about all that? What would you budget for? A hundred. But that doesn't include the bus. So I didn't put it in. Doesn't include what? Where the students drop on and off from the buses. Oh, okay. You said that. But, you know, it's in decent shape. And it was something that I knew would be low enough that we could do sometime on our, our general budget. Okay. So you're requesting? We're requesting this to be go ahead and be approved. and. Part of it is also that the Performing Arts Center will be finished sometime in the fall, and this will give us aesthetically a nice new striped parking lot to outside the Performing Arts Center. Fall this year? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a motion to accept the bid as presented for the total of 83930 to we do the parking lot at the hospital in the area. Make a motion we accept the bid with the two ad alternate, 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 alternate. alternates. Can you read it? Okay. Uh, for the total price, I guess, of 83930 Thank you, Mr. Mark. you have a second? Second. Have any discussion? All in favor? Thank you. School starts back in uh, about three weeks, August 9th. We've been looking at enrollments. The sixth grade at Broxton Elementary School, uh, we've been keeping a close eye on that. And at this point, we have 16 students who have committed, their families have committed them to go to sixth grade at Broxton. We started this approximately five years ago. As a, choice for students but it appears that interest has waned and we just don't have the numbers to support it and wanted to get the board's blessings on whatever we do moving forward but our thoughts are 
with 16 students, we just we can't sustain having two teachers out there and um, eight kids per class. And then the idea of having one teacher and one teacher teaching all four content areas, social studies, science, language arts, and math, just really wouldn't educationally be sound. So we wanted to get feedback from the board before we did anything, but my recommendation is going to be that we end the sixth grade at Roxon this year and those sixth graders will go to call from middle school. What is their opinion on it? Uh, Kim, you want to enlighten us? I've, I've been in contact a good bit with Mrs. Spate, and she and Mrs. Sapp have talked, and they both agree that it's the best thing. Um, I don't have that email with me, but I'd be glad to share that with you. But um, they're, they're in agreement on that. Actually, right now, um, they only have one sixth grade teacher. They, <coughs> excuse me, they normally have two. Um, she was able to use that teacher if we do this on her staff because she needs, she needs a, a teacher in kindergarten. So, um, but they are they are both in agreement that it needs that this that they're okay with it. So, what do our, what do these parents understand at this point? Do they know this is a possibility? <laughs> We've not communicated because we really. Uh, I didn't want to send out anything without y'all be aware. Of but what about the buses? Um, the kids that live over in Boston, the sixth graders. How would they be? Um, how would they travel here to the? For Minnesota? transportation, it really works out better for us not to do the sixth grade at Roxton. Uh, it, it, that'll. That won't. I'm saying, do you have transportation in Boston yes, to bring the kids yeah. here? Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma they'll 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 ride the bus with the other kids who weren't going to Broxton. Because there's a lot of kids that live in that area that weren't going there for sixth grade. Yeah, we're choosing so, against the middle school. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, we just don't feel like it's feasible to continue it. Really just wanted to let you know. Not we're feasible going with to do it. it. Yeah. Not very feasible. Cost yeah. effective. Yeah. Okay. So, that's where we're going. We're going to notify the parents uh, tomorrow or Monday about the. Miss, Mrs. Spade is ready to communicate with the parents as soon as after after this meeting. Um, we've not done anything. And I'm not asking for a vote. I'm really just letting you know what we're going to do. And so I did want to get feedback from you, but it just at this point. Capacity. From a business point of view, it does make sense, and certainly the state is in agreement with that. Yeah. Just want to be careful with the parents. I know this was yeah. too much. Yeah. What the number been? They've been 28, 30, 32. Last year they had 31. So my point is. I mean, with any class, you got ups and downs, and obviously 16, and you're right, that's what people can't sustain two teachers out there with 16 kids every year. But what happens next year, they've got, they've got 40 they want to you know, put it back out there. I mean, you can't go back and forth, you know, which I mean, and I agree, 16 is a problem. Um, but I'm just on the other side of it. You know, next year the numbers are back up. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to talk to her and see why the numbers are that, you know, that low this year. I mean, was there something? Kids are just dropping off, and it's not it's not what they thought it was, or is it just one of those years where they just don't have kids this year, or what? You know, I don't know. I don't know that's what I'm gonna say. I'd yeah. like to talk to her. We could, what, you know, uh, you say could we put it by? I mean, I guess. Well, I mean, I, but, but that's not. You don't want to go back and forth. Yeah. We just have to count them to go back and forth. You either have or you don't. don't. But at the same time, I, I agree. Sixteen kids is not enough to, to have two cool teachers and all that. But I'm just curious as to why. Have yeah, they know. ever had what we wanted to start with? They had enough for one class, but they wanted to try to build it up to two classes so they could have to do the two teachers. I don't know what the problem with teachers myself, but all, they always want to have the two. I mean, we had a number there one time. Uh, oh, yeah, we were wanting to get 50 when we started down this path. We never got that far. Uh, we never got that. Yeah, it's 
it's been in the low 30s since we started it. And just as a reminder, this class that we just completed the school year, was the fourth year they've done this or the third? I mean, it's the, I don't have the numbers. Third. I think it's a problem if you put it on and put it off. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't, don't, don't want to go like, oh, I just, I would like to know. You know, this first I've heard of it, I'd like to talk to her and see why why do they only have 16. Yeah. It's just a, you know, kids just don't want to do it, or, you know, I, I don't know, I'd just like to ask her and see. Yeah. Um, it's been dwindling each year, you know, it's kind of been, last year we talked about it. And I know they've marketed it, and I know they've, you know, they, they have the things they put out every year trying to recruit people and stuff like that. They've talked about transportation issues, trying to get people to go, but I'm just curious to see why. Um, but anyway, yes, sir. All right. Uh, at this time, I would ask the board to move to an executive session to discuss uh, uh, personnel and then also uh, real estate. All right. Motion makes it. Got it. Second. Motion. Second. All in favor? All right. We'll be back. Make a motion when we age the executive session. Thank you, Mr. Jarvis. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Thank you. And I would ask the board to approve the personnel as presented. I have a motion to approve the personnel recommendations as presented. Make a motion when we approve them as presented. Second. Okay. Any discussion? I'm just on the way. Okay. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes, There's no further business. Our meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.